Hello Technology Grace here, and today is episode 2 of Tech History, the show where I take the history of tech and explain it to you. Today we're going to be talking about cell phones. Now most people say the iPhone is overpriced, but imagine paying $3,995 for a cell phone. Or should I say a brick? This two pound mobile phone is the very first mobile phone to be released in the public in 1984. It was called the Motorola Dynatech 8000X and costed $3,995. That's $9,322 in today's money. This phone gave you about 30 minutes talk time and took 10 hours to recharge, so it's definitely very, very different than mobile phones today. Now, over the next few years, lots and lots and lots of mobile phones were created. Now, in the year 2000, we started seeing phones with touch screens, but that didn't take off until a few years later. Now, in the year 2002, we started seeing phones with color and cameras inside them, which totally changed the way we take pictures because over 30% of pictures taken today are from mobile phones. Now, the year 2007 was a really big year for cell phones. On January 9th, 2007, Apple announced that it was about to change and revolutionized cell phones. And Apple did just that when they released the iPhone 2G. In that first weekend alone, over 146,000 iPhones were activated. Now the iPhone has been so successful that the iPhone itself has made more money than all of Microsoft. Now even more interestingly, in this last year, iPhones has hit the point where more iPhones are sold than babies are born in the world, which is which is really crazy. Okay, so let's have a look at the technology behind these phones. Now, when I say iPhone 2G, most people assume second generation iPhone, which is actually incorrect. The 2G was actually the very first iPhone, so it was iPhone 1 with 2G technology behind it. And the 2G actually stands for second generation wireless uh, technology or communications. Now, believe it or not, but we actually started with something called 0G technology. This is your PTT, which is push to talk, which is your walkie talkies. So uh, I know that one way thing that you had as your kid, you had your walkie talkie, you'd press a button, they would receive it, and it was only one way, you couldn't both talk at the same time. That was very similar to the zero G technology. Right after at PTU push to talk, we had M T S, which is mobile telephone service. This was started by AT and T in nineteen forty seven and it was very expensive. It was $15 a month and 30 to 40 cents uh, per local call and that the equivalent to that in today's money is about $176 per month. And you thought your uh, your plan was pretty expensive. Now the interesting thing about mobile telephone service is that we didn't actually have these big cell phone towers that we see today. We had these big buildings with receivers inside and uh, operators. The even more interesting thing is we only had three channels. Now if you remember what I said before about the walkie talkies, one channel is for like one way communication sort of thing. Uh, these things only have three channels. So that means three people could talk at once. This caused about 30 minutes of wait time to even place a call. Now in 1965 we got improved mobile telephone service which basically added more channels so we could have a little bit more calls and we also got rid of any operators so now you had manually dialing on these cell phones so you had a number pad on there. Now nearing the end of the life of 0G technology we had something called advanced mobile telephone system and uh, this basically added a few more uh, channels but wasn't something really really big. Uh, shortly after 1G technology was created and it would kind of 0G kind of flew out the window. Now the thing about 1G is that things were still analog, so anyone with a receiver could basically intercept all your calls. So that was obviously uh, caused a big security uh, problem, but it was improved from the 0G uh, technology. There was a big jump, but it wasn't quite there yet. Now in the 1990s, 2G was released. Now every 10 years a new G is released, so in the 1990s we got 2G, 2000s we got 3G, and so on and so on and so on. Um, but with 2G, it was all digital, so very, very secure, and I could probably talk another hour on all this stuff, but I'm just going to skip on to 2.5G, which is a little bit more secure, and we got 2.75G, which is known as Edge technology. So when you see that Edge on your iPhone, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, now in the 2000s, 3G was introduced, and this is when internet on mobile phones kind of got realistic. Now it was much more secure, and for the very first time ever, people could actually web browse, and it wouldn't take like forever to download. We actually had realistic download capabilities on these phones. Now when we start talking about 4G, this is when it gets really confusing because uh, groups of scientists have got together and they've kind of like classified each section. So 3G is basically has to have these type of characteristics. Now 4G has to have these types of characteristics. Uh, and the thing is, uh, 4G needs to have about 300 megabytes uh, download speed and 75 megabytes upload speed. Uh, and you see 4G cell phones today, but they definitely do not uh, like really do that. They uh, carriers at tops release about 8 to 12 megabytes uh, per second, which is quite a bit lower than real 4G technology. Uh, so then you get things like 4G LTE, which you have with uh, iPhones, which is actually totally not really 4G. It's not even 3G. 
it's like a hybrid in between that companies just love the sound of 4G it's like the newest thing well, it's not actually really there yet. Uh, and then with 5G, we're supposed to have one terabyte download speed, and I think it's like 700 and something upload. Uh, so we will see that in the future. Um, but now the G's of the technology have completely, completely gone because of companies just totally falsely marketing their cell phones now. Now that really concludes this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Uh, once again, this tech history is actually a test series thing that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Uh, so if you want me to keep on doing it, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or blah blah blah, and I'll keep on doing it. Uh, but I guess I'll end this video with a whole bunch of interesting facts about phones. Did you know that 22% of adults and 27% of teens use their phones on the toilet? Over 60% of people sleep with their phones. Did you know that only 2 out of 5 people actually password protect their phones? On average, Americans spend 2.7 hours on their mobile phones. That's over one third of the time they spend sleeping a day. If you are scared of the thought of losing your phone, you have homophobia. One out of seven internet searches are from mobile phones. And finally, the mobile phone industry is the very fastest growing industry in the world. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I guess that's all from Technology Crazy Goodbye. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please share it on Facebook, Twitter, and whatever you want to share it on. And I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.